Welcome to the Kitty Cat Go Adventure podcast, where we discuss various topics related to cat adventure, travel, training, and enrichment. I'm your host, Emily Hall, cat trainer and cat adventure enthusiast. Join me as I share my own tips and advice and chat with the experts to help and encourage you to give your cat the best life possible. Remember, no adventure is too big or too small. I can't wait to learn, grow, and explore with you. Your cat's leash, arguably one of the most important pieces of gear when you're out adventuring with your cat. However, it's also one that's often overlooked. After all, any old leash will do, right? Eh, Not really. When it comes to cat leashes, there's more to consider than you might think. Length, width, material, weight, and whether or not to go retractable. All of these factors play a role in ensuring a safe, successful, and enjoyable outing with your cat. First up, let's talk about leash length. There are two schools of thought when it comes to the length of a cat leash. One, use a long leash so your cat has plenty of freedom to explore. And two, use a short leash so you have more control. Most standard length leashes are five to six feet long. Then there are your retractable leashes that can extend 10 to 20 plus feet in length. You can also find long line leashes that are 20 to 30 plus feet long. Because cats tend to meander, explore, sniff, and wander at their own pace, some people prefer to use a longer leash to allow their cat those freedoms. A longer leash is also handy if your cat likes to go in the bushes or harder to reach areas. The downside to a longer leash is that you have less control over your cat. What happens if an off-leash dog approaches or some other kind of emergency arises and your cat is 15 feet away from you? What if you need to quickly pick your cat up and they are 20 feet away? For these reasons, many people, including myself, prefer using a shorter leash. That being said, you don't want your leash to be too short because then your cat might be more likely to escape their harness. A leash pulled taut gives your cat the leverage they need to be able to slip out. So you wanna make sure that your leash is long enough to always maintain some slack. As you can see, there is no clear cut answer about how long a cat leash should be. It all comes down to personal preference, what you're comfortable with, and the types of environments you'll be adventuring in. Now, leash width. This comes down to personal preference as well, but keep in mind that a wider leash will be heavier. For most cats, a width of 3 8 inches to half an inch works best, providing a good balance between durability and lightweightness. Speaking of materials, there are several popular choices for leashes. Nylon, bungee nylon, leather, and biothane are among the most popular. Your standard leash found at any pet store is typically made of nylon. They are inexpensive and lightweight, which is always great. The biggest downside to nylon is that it quickly picks up dirt and debris. It won't be long before your nylon leash is stained, smelly, and dirty. Bungee leashes are usually covered in nylon as well. The upside to bungee leashes is that they provide a bit of shock absorbency if your cat tends to pull on the leash or quickly dart after things. They come with the same downsides as a nylon leash though. Leather leashes are a more upscale option. Leather is durable and comfortable in the hand. However, if you don't keep it maintained and oiled, it will dry out and crack. Biothane is a faux leather option that is durable, waterproof, odorproof, easily cleanable, lightweight, and flexible. Since discovering Biothane, that's the only kind of cat leash I use. No looking back. Are you tired of dragging around a soggy or dirt-covered leash on all your cat adventures? Say goodbye to the leash struggles because I've got the perfect solution for you. Introducing the Kylo Leash, the one and only biothane leash designed exclusively for cats. Picture this, a leash that's waterproof, odorproof, easy to clean, and cruelty-free. That's the Kylo Leash in a nutshell. It's not just a leash, it's a game changer for your cat's outdoor adventures. No more dirt and debris, no more soggy disasters, just pure worry-free fun. My Kylo leashes are handcrafted, fully customizable, and come in a rainbow of colors and varying lengths. Whether you prefer the basics or crave a hands-free experience, I've got you covered. And guess what? 
They come with a lifetime guarantee because I believe in the lasting quality of my products. Elevate your cat's adventures now by visiting shop.kittycatgo.com and entering the code PODCAST at checkout for 10% off your next order. Customize your Kylo leash today and let the adventures begin. When it comes to leash weight, lighter is better. All of the previously discussed factors play into the weight of your leash. In addition to the length, width, and material, the clasp that attaches the leash to your cat's harness will greatly affect the weight as well. Most dog leashes have bigger, heavier clasps, which will cause your cat's harness to slide to the side as they walk, making it awkward and uncomfortable. This can greatly impede your cat's leash training progress. Finding a leash that is lightweight and durable is so important. This is where the Kylo leash shines. Made from biothane, it's lightweight, durable, and perfect for adventurous kitties. Now let's tackle the controversial topic of retractable leashes. As with many of the factors discussed so far, whether or not to use a retractable leash is truly a matter of personal preference. Some people love them, some people hate them. There are benefits to a retractable leash. They allow your cat more freedom to explore, and they can also be locked into position at shorter and longer lengths. However, they also come with several drawbacks. Retractable leashes can break. It's not unheard of for the inner workings of a retractable leash to malfunction while in use. For example, the locking mechanism could break or the cord could pull out completely. They can also cause injury. The thin cord of the leash can easily get wrapped around fingers and legs, potentially causing rope burns or cuts. Retractable leashes are also bulky and uncomfortable in the hand. And then the biggest drawback of them all, if you drop a retractable leash while walking your cat, it will chase your cat around as it tries to retract itself. This is terrifying for some cats, which can cause serious setbacks in the leash training process. There are many cat adventurers who use retractable leashes and love them. I personally just prefer the simplicity and reliability of a fixed length leash. After trying many leashes myself and falling in love with biothane material, I had a difficult time finding a proper biothane cat leash. All the ones I was finding were designed with dogs in mind, so they were thicker, heavier, and had bigger clasps, making for a less than ideal experience for a cat. I eventually decided to try my hand at making my own, designed specifically for cats, the Kylo Leash, named after my best adventure companion, Kylo Ren. The Kylo Leash is a biothane leash that is lightweight, durable, easy to clean, waterproof, odorproof, flexible, and customizable. There is both a basic model with a regular leash handle, as well as a hands-free model that can be worn in several ways. There's also the longline Kylo leash, which is perfect for backyard hangs or chilling at a campsite. And don't forget, you get 10% off your next Kylo leash order by using the code PODCAST at checkout. I hope you found all this information helpful as you make your leash selection. If you have any questions or need any help, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at kittycatgoadventures. Are you enjoying the Kitty Cat Go Adventure podcast? Let me know by leaving a review. This will help others to find it and hopefully be inspired to get out there, try new things, and go new places with their cat. What questions do you have about adventuring with cats? Or maybe you'd just like to chat with me about what you learned in this episode. Find me on Instagram at kittycatgoadventures. You can also screenshot this episode and tag me in your stories so I can see who is listening. I'd love to continue the conversation with you, so find me on Instagram or join our Facebook group, Kitty Cat Go Adventure Team, so you can connect with a whole community of fellow cat adventurers. And as always, you can find the show notes, including all links and resources discussed in this episode at kittycatgo.com slash podcast. Until next time, happy adventuring.